My name is Matt Hillman. I'm the refuge manager here at Monomoy National Wildlife Refuge. Um, today we're standing here at Monomoy Point Lighthouse on the south tip of South Monomoy Island in the National Wildlife Refuge. Um, we're here today with a work crew based of on Fish and Wildlife Service personnel. We have uh, maintenance action team members from all over Region 5 in the Northeast. That spans from Maine to Virginia. Um, they're here working on a deck project and an interior lighthouse rehabilitation project. Um, we're working really closely with all of our partners to accomplish this. We're working with the Friends of Monomoy, who generously funded all of the interior renovations for this project. That includes drywall, insulation, all of the wiring. Um, we're also working with the U.S. Coast Guard, who was able to airlift all of our 30,000 pounds of supplies into the lighthouse here as of last May. Uh, the town of Chatham was generous in donating the use of Harding's Beach parking lot to be able to actually um, have a staging area where we could bring those materials and those supplies from Harding's Beach on the eight mile helicopter trip to this lighthouse. Uh, and we're also working with Glen Electric out of Plymouth, Massachusetts. And they're supplying labor today. They're wiring the entire house for future electricity. Uh, and the company Glen Electric is also going to be here um, later this fall to install an array of solar panels. You know, you know our goal here is basically fourfold. Um, we want to maintain this structure nine. So that's going to, this deck for example is, uh, is, is going to accomplish that. Um, all of our interior renovations, we're going to make it look uh, as historic as we possibly can. Uh, and we're also going to, in the future, bring the public out here for many tours, uh, scheduled boat trips through a future concessionaire who's going to be able to bring people out here who might not otherwise get to see this place uh, when the lighthouse and the keeper's house is completed. They'll be able to come out here, uh, enjoy the view, enjoy the history, and then see some wildlife. And then most importantly too, you know, we use the Fish and Wildlife Services use this, uh, use this structure uh, on a seasonal basis. We're here living, our staff lives in this place overnight for four months out of the year, usually from April until about this time period. Um, and we also have all of our base of operations on the south part of the island stationed in this lighthouse. So this is going to increase our efficiency and it's going to greatly increase our safety of operations as well. So the Fish and Wildlife Service thanks all of our partners who could not have done this without the many people who helped out in this this long project and we'll be here until Friday of next week that's uh, September 2nd we'll be here so it'll be a full two weeks of work um, and at that time we're gonna have the exterior finished and we'll hopefully have the interior pretty much finished as well so that's our goal.